Hello, sunshines. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. On today's video, I am vlogging, you guys. It is behind the scenes footage of some production meetings that I had going on today uh, for some styles that we're going to be producing for my wholesale business, Mood Wholesale. I decided to do a voiceover for the entirety of this video. This is a little different for my channel, but I figured it would be a little bit of fun. I wanted you guys to be able to see the behind the scenes of what I'm doing, but I'm not able to allow you guys to hear all of the conversations that are happening because again, you guys, this is business and this is my business and I do have to protect the privacy of my business as well as the integrity of my business and the people that I do business with. So I figured I would do something a little bit different and mix it up a bit and do a voiceover for the entirety of this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys again for joining me. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on those notifications because I would love nothing more than for you to become part of my YouTube family. So without further ado, let's get started, girl. Le, le, le. Oh, le, 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 le. to the LA fashion district the happiest place on earth I am like a kid in a candy store when I visit the fashion district this place makes me so happy it makes me so inspired it makes me so motivated and I really do just enjoy coming for the inspiration and for the motivation to kind of keep pressing forward I feel like being in this industry for so long it tends to sometimes be very draining very overwhelming and sometimes too much to handle because the times are constantly changing the industry is constantly changing what is trending is constantly changing and it's always a pivot type of game nothing ever sticks for too long and I feel like that's what makes being in this industry so overwhelming and draining but also so exciting at the same time and this is truly and genuinely a full circle moment for you for me you guys i have been in this industry for almost an entire decade can you guys believe it i was sitting down in my office the other day and i was just thinking to myself like oh my gosh jackie you have been doing this for nearly 10 years an entire decade that is like one third of my life. I'm 33 years old and I've been in this industry for one third of my life. And it genuinely makes me so happy that I was able to pursue something that I loved and was passionate about. And I was able to impact the lives of others while doing so, while sharing my journey and while sharing information that I was learning as I went. I remember my first time visiting the fashion district, you guys. I had no idea what the hell I was doing, what the hell I was buying. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I visited like a few showrooms. I thought that that was enough. I just bought things out of impulse because I just wanted to buy stuff. I had no idea who my target audience was. I had no idea who I was trying to reach. I, had, I just, I just, girl, I just didn't know a thing, nothing at all. And here we are 10 years later and I have learned so much. I have made so many friends. I have made so many connections and it's been such a beautiful journey and such a beautiful process. And I'm so thankful to be here and be able to share these parts of the journey with you guys, like producing wholesale styles for boutique owners and retailers coming from such a humble place 10 years ago of not knowing what I was doing and just pretty much learning as I went. If you guys don't know anything about me, I have had multiple store locations, brick and mortars. I've done pop-ups. I've sold at swap meets. I have done 
anything and everything you can think of to grow my business in any way possible. I've even lost uh, my business Instagram account who was almost at like 250,000 followers at one point. Um, so it has definitely been a journey with a lot of roadblocks and a lot of challenges, but nonetheless, I'm super thankful to be here, you guys, and have done this for so long. And I say all that to share with you guys that there are going to be changes, like I've been saying in previous videos, and this part of my life will soon be coming to an end. Uh, this part of my chapter will be coming to an end and there will be something new and more beautiful born from this so you guys know um in the bible it says that god gives beauty for ashes well i feel like uh closing this chapter fully and closing this decade of my life and starting something new it is pretty much applicable to that beauty for ashes you know like um, it is the ashes of my old life. It is what I am choosing to leave behind so that I can start over in my new life and start fresh and start something more beautiful because I have learned so much already and I know so much about this industry and I have such a passion for it and I know exactly what is missing and how I can better serve retail consumers like boutique owners that I am just excited for the beauty that is going to come from starting something new um so take that however you guys want to take it i can't really get into specifics like i've said before but i am just so happy and so honored to be here with you guys and have you guys a part of this journey uh but anyways a little uh voiceover on what i'm actually doing here so i'm actually trying on samples I'm trying on these samples that we are possibly going to be producing for mood. As you guys can see, this is a DTY brush style. This is um, a fabric that a lot of our customers have requested us to bring back. Everyone always loved our DTY brush styles. And it is because of the soft buttery fabric and because of the fit, the way that it lays on the body. However, uh, none of these styles that I tried on, I was completely obsessed with. They still needed adjustments and I still wanted them to look more elevated. So that is what I'm here doing is kind of trying on the styles to see what we can improve, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be stitched where, how we can resize so that it's suitable for our customers, so that it's something that they can resell for a good price, um, making sure that the sizing is adequate and falls in line with what our brand is trying to represent and you know just making sure that everything is top notch i put a lot of effort into our wholesale brand because i feel like i want to be what was missing in the industry i want to be what was missing for my boutique in the industry so i want to make sure that i give boutique owners what is missing in terms of sizing in terms of fit in terms of fabric and quality uh, I wanted to be what was missing in the industry. So these are just some of the styles. Um, I definitely hated this one. I really wasn't happy with it. I kind of felt like a linebacker, but I'm going to have Sophia try it on back at the warehouse and kind of see what she looks like in it. And those were just the styles there. Then we're moving on to some other production, which is our more high quality production. These are the ribbed styles. So if you haven't seen that, I definitely recommend that you guys check our Fashion Go and also our website because these ribbed styles are to freaking die for you guys. I think I have showed you guys some of the samples maybe here in a video before, but I wanted to make adjustments to make sure that they were top notch so that they looked as elevated as possible, think J Lux, think Naked Wardrobe, think Skims. I want our wholesale brand to be elevated. I want our wholesale brand to look expensive. I want our wholesale brand to represent luxury, basic essentials, but luxurious basic essentials, timeless staple pieces that uh, boutique owners can have access to at good prices and good quality because I feel like quality is missing in some of these basics and some of these vendors are charging astronomical prices for basic pieces that are not quality and I want to bring that to the wholesale market 
And I am planning on doing that. We are hoping to open a showroom in downtown LA next year. Uh, That is one of the goals. That is something that is on the vision board. Again, I don't know where life may take me next year, but that is in my hopes, dreams, plans, wishes, etc. It is on the vision board to be accessible in downtown LA. Because if you guys don't know, we're currently an hour, maybe two hours with traffic outside of downtown LA. So we are quite a mission away from downtown LA and we're not as accessible. But even then we do really, really well, which I'm really, really thankful for. We have a lot of local customers here in the Inland Empire who pick up all the time, but I just feel like we need to be in the hub. I am excited to potentially be doing trade shows like Magic and um, the Mart in Atlanta and also the trade show in Dallas. Like, I'm so excited to be on that side of the fashion industry now, especially having evolved as much as I have and having experience having brick and mortars and retail. I feel like I've done everything that I really wanted to do on the retail side of the fashion industry. And it no longer brings me the joy that it once did. And it no longer brings me the fulfillment that it once did. And I am excited to be moving into a different chapter that does continue to bring me joy, but still in the same industry. So those are just some of the things that are going on. I know a lot of you guys have had a lot of questions. I know that you guys have been curious. I know that I've been kind of vague and it's because there's so much going on. Like I said, that I really can't discuss, but I... That's just kind of to give you guys the gist of my ideas and to answer some of the questions that you guys have had. And I figured the best way for me to do that was in this format of a video while just having you guys be able to see some visuals and stuff. But this was my way of connecting with you guys. Um, I hope that you guys continue to be inspired with what we have going on Uh, and I will continue to document my journey we will continue to be interviewing other boss babes and boutique owners and I am sure I'm going to develop so much more relationships and better relationships with boutique owners being that we will be a wholesaler in the fashion district I'll have more access to more people to inspire you guys and share their stories with you guys and just be able to do more for the fashion community overall uh that just you guys it excites me so much like if you guys ever need inspiration or motivation i definitely recommend like watching some of those uh business interviews also visiting the fashion industry uh, or the fashion district uh going to the trade shows uh just surrounding yourself with everything fashion even going to the mall excites me now that i'm working so much more with our wholesale side of the business it excites me so much more to go to the mall and see what companies like zara and h&m and forever 21 are bringing in and what colors are standing out and watching fashion shows because now i am in control of production now we can actually produce things and make them for the masses and make them in a way that is sellable to customers because another huge issue that i know you guys can relate to in the fashion district is that things just do not fit right girl they they make boob cup sizes for the size of my daughter like a toddler boob cup size and it just just the math ain't mathing girl it don't be adding up sometimes so I want to make sure that whatever is trending, we can produce with high quality styles and we can produce in realistic fits and sizing and also providing the option of having size extra large available. I feel like that just sets us apart so, so much. Uh, But anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the format of this video. I really just wanted to put something out there for you guys and also just kind of touch base with you guys. I know that this isn't really a platform where we can sit down and talk necessarily or have like a little one-on-one. I feel like that's maybe something that we do on lives or something like that. It's a different way, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. I look forward to some more business interviews. I'm going to be interviewing a cat from Shop Tiger Cherry pretty soon. So look forward to that on the channel and just some more vlogs and stuff, some more behind the scenes. So 
thank you guys again so much for being here hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and i will catch you guys at next time video Shoo!